Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the first time that I've ever done a voiceover recording like this so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. But this week I'm planning in my Erin Condren vertical for the week of April 8th through the 14th and I picked up a kit from Creating & Co. That is a Game of Thrones inspired kit since the premiere of the last season is coming out on Sunday the 14th. Usually I do a Sweet Kawhi Design kit, but Sweet Kawhi Design didn't really have anything that was truly like Game of Thrones inspired, aside from like the countdown stickers, which you'll see later. But I went ahead and picked this kit up, and that's what I'm using this week. So I am actually planning on the Friday the week previous, so my plans for this week are pretty lax right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I know I've got things planned but I don't know when they're happening so that's I don't know pretty much what's going on with my life I've got things going on but I have no idea what what I'm doing them um right now I'm putting down the headers in the in the top two header spots I was trying to decide if I wanted to go um horizontally like one day be all black headers one day be all red and one day be all like that gold yellow but instead, I did all of the black up top, all of the red in the second, and then I think I used maybe one or two of the yellow, like, golden glitter headers. So far. I mean, I might sprinkle some more in, but that's what we've got going on so far. But that's pretty much the first thing I do, and every single time that I plan is I put the headers down first. I've gotten better at recognizing that I can put down the top and the middle section, at the same time because sometimes the check flags do hang down into the bottom section. Now what I'm doing is just finishing to put on all of the checklist. I do love the stars in this one. They're kind of like shaded through but like colored like almost scribbled through. They look really really neat with this kit. Putting on the rest of the date covers and honestly I'm sitting here just now and I know that I didn't put like date dots or anything on that. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to definitely have to go back and do that. I did go ahead and zoom you guys out so that you could see me putting the bottom washi down at the very bottom of the page. You'll see why I do this in just a little bit. Um, as far as my sidebar goes, I did have some trouble deciding if I wanted to continue to do the same kind of setup and if I was going to continue to track in the same manner that I have been. Ultimately, I decided that yes, I was going to keep it exactly the same for now. We'll see how if it's going to change in the next. These are the countdown stickers that I was talking about from Sweet Quiet Design. It's just a little wolf character and <laughs> you're going to see that I put them down and then I realized that they weren't going down straight so I peeled a couple of them up and I did have a really hard time peeling up the vinyl sticker off of the matte sticker. I didn't rip the paper or anything like that but it just it was very like almost like glued down is what it felt like so now I know for the remainder of this week that any of my Sweet Quiet Design stickers that I put down on top of the matte stickers I'm really not going to be able to pick up. Okay, I was looking at all of my options as far as my functional icons and the EXO icon character stickers, and I'm going to put down one of them that looks like he's dancing for my yoga. I was like, I could use my unicorn sticker from Sweet Quiet Design, but I don't know what I'm going to use as a little dancing EXO, so he kind of looks like he's doing a yoga pose, and that's what I went for. I did decide to use my habit trackers as I had in the past couple of weeks, so using a Facebook and an Instagram sticker from the social media page from Sweet Quiet Design. And this is where most of my trouble starts because I know I have plans this week, but I don't know when they're happening. I just know that they need to get done by the rest of the week, and yeah, I started just kind of deciding that I wanted to use all of the full boxes aside from the two castle stickers because realistically will I use those two castle stickers in another spread? Probably not. But out of those options, if I were to be able to reuse those stickers again, I could use the two castle stickers for like Oh, I don't know, like a fairy tale theme week or something. I don't know. So I, I took those two out because I only needed seven. 
I put down a half box for no reason at this point. I just know that I'm going to have plans and they're going to get filled up. So I then layered or I then put a full box sticker down, left a little bit of a white space and put my quarter box down at the very bottom. Again, none of those are going to have icons, I don't believe. Um, I did realize that these aren't vinyl stickers, so they are a little bit more thin. And with that being said, I could see part of that purple um, header line underneath that wolf. He's white, so none of the other stickers probably would have had any trouble. But I went ahead and just took some white out and whited those out so I wouldn't have the risk of seeing them pop through. I used one of the little grocery items icons to mark down that I need to go grocery shopping and then I use the little trash XO to mark that I need to take out the trash which is usually what my husband does so I've been really lucky and not have to worry about that. There weren't any like bill do stickers in this kit. I could have layered a quarter box with some sort of icon but I went ahead and pulled out my George bill tracker stickers from Sweet Quad Design and used him instead. Now I'm going back to put down that full box, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to put down one single half box or two quarter boxes, and I sat for way too long deciding what I was going to do, like usual, guys, for like, I have a hard time making decisions. I did decide to just go ahead and put down a quarter box and then leave that space there for now. Again... I can fill that in with an icon or fill in the space with writing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I have it there. I laid down that flame kind of hand full box, layered a, I keep saying layered, but that's not the word that I want to use. Um, I put a half box down and then a quarter box and realized that it was just a tad, tad crooked, so I tried to move it, but it really wouldn't move, so that's okay. It's just a little bit crooked now. I am using the Time to Budget sticker from Sweet Koi Design just because that is what I always use and it's just, it's the best signature for me to remind myself that I need to actually do something with the budget on that day. I put down a half box and I know that I have some plans on Thursday night. My husband and I need to go finish meeting with a guy about our taxes. Um, we decided to have it done by someone else this year and it took us a while to get all the paperwork in that we needed from another state because they are dawdling or got lost in the mail or something. So there's that. Um, we have that tax appointment at like 5.30 that night, and then I know we'll probably just go out to eat for dinner um, somewhere in the Legends area. Then on Friday, it is Drew's payday, so I put down a quarter box with a little payday XO, and... I can't remember, oh yes, I have a meeting, I have an OT team meeting that day, and I had decided earlier on in this video that I wasn't going to be putting down any of my other meetings, I was just going to put down that one, because that one is more specific to my job, as far as like, I actually need to do something to prepare for it. I put down a little glitter header underneath the meeting sticker just to break up since that full box is a little bit more white on the top and it just looked like that whole column was just very white with the Bildu sticker. So it also helped cover up some space. I don't know what we'll be doing that night. I know we'll do something, but as far as writing it in, I just, I'll just i have to write it in the sidebar or something. On Saturday and Sunday, again, I don't know what my plans are. But I went ahead and put down one of those like scalloped labels with a glitter background with the XO and the coffee because we had been going to Zeb's Coffee House, which is like a local coffee shop. And we've been doing that every Saturday morning, but we kind of stopped the last couple just because things were coming on. We were out of town and all those things. But we're trying to save money also, so I don't know if we'll actually end up going, but maybe if we can just make sure that it's good with our budget, we can go. I did put down that big TV sticker on Sunday for the premiere of Game of Thrones, but I'm not really sure if I can even watch it that night. If anyone knows, I have HBO Now, the little app, um, the paid subscription for that, but we're watching it through our, our um, gosh, what is it called, the Apple TV on an app through that. And I don't know if we can actually watch it at the time that it airs. If anyone else, comment below because I'm just a little confused and I was doing some research online and it was pretty like, 
I don't know. <laughs> um, but I did put down a little birthday balloon for my nephew's birthday just to mark that in. And that is it. That's my spread for this week. Thanks for watching, guys.